says HR, House Revolution. They, but they didn't amend HR 3590. They ripped it out entirely and slipped in their federal bill. And then he, again, they needed a new title. So they crossed it out. We got the number. So they go. Got the picture of the title works right yeah. here. Yeah. Here's the thing, what Justice Department put in the hands of people soon. Your suit. You remember old S510 that just went into uh, just went into being? We just voted upon. Originally when voted upon, it was created in the Senate. It had revenue raising. It went back to the House of Representatives, and all the Republicans jumped up and said, You can't do it! You are not allowed to raise revenue. Oh boy. So they had sent it back to the House of Representatives. <coughs> They had to rewrite it and bring it right back in to the Senate to vote upon. They controlled the Senate House. They did it. But they lost because it was already established you couldn't write the bill. Now, is that enough? How can we go a little further? This, this, this was <laughs> already in it. They've been told about it. It gets even better. The, the idiots, and forgive me for calling <laughs> those young attorneys that practice law, for the Justice Department, see, they practice. They don't even have to do it right, so they have to practice. <laughs> they asked Judge Vincent <coughs> in Florida, where the case, where they just said it's unconstitutional, would you please study the history of the bill? Judge Vincent said, this is, after studying the bill, and the Department of Justice were preserved, this is a Senate bill. It originated in the Senate. Oh my God, they get upset. What do you mean, it's a You asked me to look at it. I looked at it. Now, why didn't Judge Vincent turn around and say, it's illegal? Both the defense and, and, the, pro and the plaintiffs asked the judge to look at the history. They both asked him to do it. This is part of law now. It's, it's in the law. It's in the history of the bill. So, Basically, the district court in Florida, the chief judge of the district court in Florida, confirmed our count one. And the New Jersey district court does not like that. Oh, yeah. They complained about it <laughs> in one of their responses. But now why, why the judge in Florida couldn't do away with the bill? It was very simple. It was not before him. What was before him was the Commerce Clause and the Tenth Amendment. But he confirmed our count one, your count one. Now, going to count, does anyone have any questions now on count one? I think you all realize we live. Yes, sir. Huh. Well, what happened to the original HR 3590? Uh, oh, that's in trash. Did they, did they have a shred of it? The original 3590 is not existed, not amended. Doesn't exist. We just needed that HR 3590 number. Charlie Rangel, Charlie Rangel resubmitted it as a different bill under a different number. So how do you like the fraud of your man? Uh, in fact, this, this particular bill of Charlie Rangel's has been proposed, I think, four times, and it's never got out of, out of the House or the Senate. <coughs> I guess he knows more about that than about his own taxation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does seem to have a problem. <laughs> Just like Timothy Geithner has a problem using TurboTax. Well, we're not going to go into each other. Do you have any explainable reason why they didn't originate this in the House? Because they were running out of time, <coughs> and, and uh, well, Brown from Massachusetts got it, they couldn't filibuster. Remember. So they wanted to rush it through quickly. Remember, you, the House generated H.R. 3200, which is the House version of health care. The Senate at the same time was writing their own. The, the Senate told the House, we won't even consider your bill. Put in the Congress. They tossed it out completely. Oh. So Brown comes in and they say, well, we got to get something passed. I, Obama, I have to have something passed. I've got to have it. So they played games. And they convinced the House to go along with this basically treason because that's effectively what it is, against the Constitution. They violated the Constitution. 
And out of the six, they shouldn't even be, uh, they should be removed from all? Yeah, Everybody? well, we'll get to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. So that's what they did. They, they wanted something passed to make Obama look good, even though, uh, as I, from stuff I've read, they would even flag the fact that doing it was questionable and unconstitutional, as far as anyone could tell, in the, like, the CBO or one of the other agencies that answers to Congress directly. So they knew up front that there was a problem, but they wanted something passed. These are progressives. They wanted control. So the fact that the revenue bill has to come out of the House is that part of the Constitution? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Article yes. 1, Section 7, Paragraph 1. Yes. Well, well, the Republicans who took over now, are they going to do Why are they not going after and saying that the bill is unconstitutional? All right, I'm going to tell you something that you're not going to believe. No. <laughs> All right, you're not going to believe. A Republican got Paul, and he does have a beautiful rating. He's a conservative rating of 98. That's pretty good. He got a call and said, why aren't you supporting the people in, Staten, in, Staten, in uh, New Jersey on this bill that says it's a revenue raising bill that was originated in the Senate. Why aren't you supporting them? Well, we're supporting the Virginia case. I didn't ask you that question, he said. I want to know why aren't you supporting the bill in your own state? And this congressman said, you don't understand. We all do this. <laughs> Wait, time out. Time out. Don't get So the party turned around and said, Excuse me, if you run 100 red lights and you don't get caught, you pay a fine. No. Did you get caught? Yes. We haven't heard from them since. No, it doesn't matter. Menendez or Lockhart? Mr. Garrett. So I got good, good man like him. And no wait, I vote for him tomorrow. So what if I don't? What do you what do you reference to all do this? What's the this? Subs take revenue raising take, bills take, that originate in the, the house, house or in the city. Let me tell you, but understand something. And in all fairness to the man, in all fairness to the man, and serious, he has a, a, a good record. But you know something. Our congressman is so corrupt they sometimes have to play ball. I go back to an old great man like Jesse Hounds. Why did he vote for certain bills? Because if he didn't, he would run out of office and he couldn't protect our nation. And military-wise, military, military -wise, he did protect us. Don't go after this man in such a way. He did support Virginia, and I, I've got to be very honest with you. I'm shocked that he did because I think he should have jumped on the bandwagon. But I, I, I shouldn't have mentioned his name, and I... I why should so, so, why, so why don't we put pressure on him to support it and the rest of them? You're welcome to. You're welcome to. Yes, sir. What did he mean when he said to you all? He did. His chief of staff. In other words, they take well, uh, revenue raising bills... When they want to get their bills in, or they want to get something they there. Do this. Listen, so you don't have constitutional pastures. Can I give up the subject for a second? Just, 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 just a quick foot note to Scott Garrett, because I had an interaction with him that was similar, and some of the people who were in this room were there also. And we, were, we were discussing the eligibility issue with Obama, about Obama, and his comment regarding the Constitution was, he didn't say it, that he wasn't bragging about it, he was stating it as a matter of fact, that, quote, most of what we do here is unconstitutional anyway. Well, so, what, okay. what did Nancy Pelosi say? Yeah. The Constitution ain't kidding me. Right. So I mean, I, I think that that should be a reality check for everybody. It is a reality check, but let me, let me explain something to you. Okay? I was an inside. And I don't want to, we shouldn't go off on tangent. But I was an inside. And one day I was asked to go, as a, as a managing director, to a fundraiser. Now we had packs. We gave millions of dollars, politicians and both eyes. And I refuse to go to a fundraiser for Mario Palm, the old gentleman. <clears throat> I had called him by my CIO, uh, CEO, and he said, Nick, Ellie, you mean you don't want to go? I said, I can't vote for this liberal lunatic. I can't support him. Reality check, we don't vote hard. 
we don't care who gets in. They do what they're told. <coughs> now, Lehman's gone. Bear Stearns is gone. Goldman that still exists. The triangle's gone. There's no more money for space. Who's running all over? Who's running the government? Goldman Sachs. Hey, they're good businessmen. <coughs> they're making a lot of money. And I don't knock. I do knock them. I, I do knock anybody who hurts our Constitution. But they're brilliant. That's why they're in Wall Street. But remember something. Money talks. Money talks. Now that's why this little group, each of you represent 10 or more people. That's why you must stay your time. That's why you don't join the United Tea Party. Just on, just on issues, you join together. So you can't be caught. That's how your same men get in. You ask me a question, why did Chris Smith get elected? When the first 10 votes in the first term of the days of Congress, he voted with Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, a rhino. Because they're insiders. The people must take back their own government. We are superior to them. They hate us for that. Read Hamilton, who was a federalist, will tell you, the people are superior to the legislature and the court. But we're going off track. That's the end of count one. Let's go to count two. We don't want to keep you here all night. There's no popcorn.